Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 CS Card Connector plugin. Now this particular plugin integrates the Magento 2 store with the CS Card store and you can synchronize the products and orders between Magento 2 and CS Card stores with the help of this particular plugin. Apart from that you can also manage multiple CS Card stores as well. Kindly note that this plugin works for simple and configurable products only and this particular plugin allows the store merchants to set up various CS card stores, import products and orders from CS card, map Magento 2 categories with CS card categories, pull real time orders with the help of cron, import simple and configurable products, set the default quantity and weight values for the imported products in Magento 2 store. If the product is not created during the real time order update, the cron will create it for you automatically. Store admin can manage and view products for both stores. If no category is assigned for any product, then it will fall in the default selected category and you will be able to export products from Magento 2 to CS Card Store as well. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the storefront and uh, in the admin backend panel as well. And uh, initially what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you the initial configuration settings for this uh, particular plugin, how you can set up the uh, initial configurations there. And then we'll be seeing how we can set up the different stores uh, at the backend panel there and the rest of the workflow there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today for the Magento 2 CS Card plug Connector plugin, kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now, first, uh, I'll just give you a glimpse of uh, the products that I've imported from the CS Cart into my Magento 2 store default category. That's the CS Cart category that you can see here. So here we have created a CS Cart category and here you can see the products like coat, jacket, laptop, LED TV, pan, pulses, shirt, t-shirt, uh, winter coat, and a test product there and now if i take you to the uh, backend panel of the cs card store here here you can see that here we have multiple stores like simtech uh, saga store my storefront so i've uh, inputted the products from the my store into my magento 2 web store and here you can see that we have the coat we have the jacket laptop led tv pant pulses shirt t-shirt and the winter coat as well in the product section of the CS card there itself and the same products have been imported here within the Magento 2 web store and these are visible under this particular category itself. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin will be able to initially configure this particular plugin from the admin backend panel. For that I'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username, password and tapping on the sign in button. Now the very first thing that I want to tell you is that after you have successfully installed the CS Card Magento connector there, you'll find one option on the side panel here as you can see where you will be able to manage your CS Card stores. But before we go to this particular section, let's hop on to the stores configuration. On the configuration page under the webcool block here, we have the CS Card connector and here we are having the general configuration. So here let's go through these uh, general configuration settings first and then we'll proceed further with the rest of the configurations there under the uh, CS card machine to connect itself. So under the general configuration we have the allowed default value. So here you have to select uh, the value as yes or no for the allowed default values. So whatever values that you have selected here under the Magento card stores after editing a store, the default uh, values that you have set up, if you want to use those uh, values, then you need to set uh, the default value as yes, otherwise you have to set it as no. Uh, so here you have the default value set during the product import if value will empty. So whatever options that we have set up here under the edit uh, store option, those uh, values would be used if we have set the allowed default value as yes. Then we have product delete from catalog as yes or no. So if yes, after deleting the map product, then the product will also be deleted from the Magento catalog. What happens is that if you're inputting the products under your particular store that you've added under the managed CS card stores, 
uh, then under the uh, section where you can find uh, the particular imported products if you are deleting those products then the products would be deleted from the magento catalog as well if you have selected as it as yes otherwise if you have selected it as no then the products won't be deleted from the magento catalog as well then we have the cs card admin email you can get the cs card admin email by going to this particular section here and here is demo at webcool.com for example the same needs to be entered here then we have the cs card base api url so what you need to do is you need to go to your store and you have to open the uh, base url of your store so this is a base url so you have to copy this up that shows the home page of your store you have to copy this up and you have to paste it here within the cs card base api url then we have the cs card api key so what you need to do is to get the cs card api key you need to go to this particular section go to the edit profile section here go to the api access and what you need to do is you need to generate the new api key and when you have generated the new api key and that very time you will be able to see your api key so you need to copy that up at that very time and then you need to paste that up within the configuration setting here then we have the cs card api version so from here you can choose the cs card api version whether it's version 1.0 or version 2.0 and then you need to tap here on the save configuration button to save the configuration settings here so after you're done with the general configuration settings here you need to navigate to cs card version to connect and manage cs card stores if it's the first time that you're coming to this particular section then this particular section would not be having any stores listed so right now you can see that we have uh, uh, already uh, mapped uh, or we have added two stores of the cs card with the magento 2 store there as you can see we have one sagar and my store now if i take you here hey we can you can see that uh, if i go to the uh, home page here uh, of the cs card here you can see and uh, let me show you these stores that we are having here within the cs card itself so we are having syntec saga new store front end my store and new right so saga and my store have already been uh, uh, mapped here saga and my store so to to map any other ones you can tap here on the add cs card store so if you have already mapped few stores then those stores would not be visible under the cs card store selection here so right now you can see that we have only three new new store front end and simtech simtech new store front end and new saga and my store are not being displayed because we have already added them up uh, there so to map a new one for example if you are mapping a new one you can go with the new for example new store or new store front end or you can go with the simtech whichever ones that you have here uh, so i'll go with for example new store front end uh, or simtech then i'll choose the uh, magento store uh, with which i want to um, with which i want to map this up then i need to choose the default attribute set of the magento there and then we need to tap here on the save cs card store and this would basically map that particular store with the magento to store there so you can see that simtech is being uh, mapped with the test store view and from here you can then tap on the edit option and tapping the edit option would bring up these uh, options like cs card store information so the cs card store is uh, mapped with the magento to store there cs card general configurations uh, category mapping section right import products from cs card import orders from cs card export products to cs card and much more right so for now what i'll be doing is i'll i've already uh, uh, mapped and uh, mapped the categories and other things uh, within the other stores here so let's go with the my store here and let me edit it up so here you can see that uh, i have mapped the cs card store my store that's at cs card my store with magento stores view that's the default store view and i've chosen the attribute set and the magento as default then we have the cs card general configuration so here we have the default category uh, and this category that you have selected will be assigned to the cs card products uh, for example if you have mapped 
uh, categories between the CS card and the Magento there, then, then there is no issue. But if uh, you have not mapped the categories of the CS card with the uh, with the Magento there and you are importing the products from CS card into the Magento then in that case what will happen is that whichever category that you have selected here uh, would be assigned to those uh, products for which we have not mapped the categories there. Then we have the default quantity uh, for example you are importing products from the CS card into your Magento 2 store and the product uh, that you are importing uh, is not having the default quantity there then the quantity of or the quantity is set to zero for that product then this default quantity would be assigned to the particular product same goes with the default weight if the weight is not uh, been assigned to the product so whenever the product is being imported this particular default weight that you have assigned here would be assigned to the product then we have the default order status so here you can choose the order status for the uh, imported orders from CS card into the Magento 2 store so whichever order status that you would have selected here would be assigned to the orders that you will be importing from CS card into your Magento 2 store. Then we have the category mapping. Here you will be able to map the CS card categories with the Magento 2 categories and here you can see that I've already uh, mapped few of the categories of the uh, of this particular store that's the my store. So if I go here and I select here uh, my store and I go back to the my store so here's the my store categories we have cloths grocery items and electronics for the my store right here we have selected my store if you can see my store front has been selected uh, then if I come down to the category mapping here you can see that uh, here we have the magento store category so here you will find the complete listing of the Magento 2 uh, store categories. So you can select a particular one, for example pants. Then you can choose the CS card category with which you want to uh, map this particular category with. So here you can see that we have the electronics, grocery items and cloths. The same are visible here for the uh, my store, uh, for the my store basically, for the my store front, uh, cloths, grocery items and electronics. So that's why we are viewing this as electronics, grocery items and cloths. So accordingly you can assign the one, choose the attribute set for the Magento and tap on the map category button. Also can you note that for example if you have uh, mapped the electronic category with this the, uh, CS card uh, category there, uh, then the CS card category cannot be assigned with any other one. So at a time one category can be assigned to only one Magento 2 category there, right? So that's how easily you can map the categories of the uh, Magento 2 store with the CS card store. So you have to just select the Magento 2 uh, category, select the CS card category with which you want to uh, uh, map the category with, choose the attribute set and tap on the map category button. Then we have import products from CS card. So here you will find the complete list of products that you imported from the CS card into your Magento 2 store. So if we see here, here we have GGG, GFD, some test data is there and other products as well. So here we are having the GFDDD, GGG, uh, jacket, just duffel bag, crown submit bag, coat, right? Crown submit pack, just duffel bag. So these are the products that we've imported from the CS card into our, our Magento 2 web store basically. Uh, let me show you that so here's the GFDD GGG winter coat and the rest of the products that we have imported from the CS card store into our Magento 2 store and these are listed here as well as you can see we have the LED TV laptop red laptop black laptop jacket and coat laptop laptop LED TV jacket coat pants so uh, how you can uh, basically import the products from uh, CS card into your Magento 2 store that's very easy so for that what you need to do is you need to first run the cron and after running the cron you need to tap on the import product button then this particular pop up will appear then you have to tap here on the ok button and this uh, create imported product button would be enabled then you have to tap here on the create imported product button and uh, after that you have to run the cron once again 
and after that the products would be created in the Magento 2 store from the CS card store and would be listed here and these uh, these uh, products that you would see here being listed here would be visible to you under the catalog and product section as well thereafter right then we have the import orders from CS card the same goes with the import orders from CS card as well after you imported the product imported the orders from the CS card into your Magento 2 store all of those orders would be listed here as you can see and would be, then be visible under sales and orders section as well to import the orders what you need to do is you need to first run the cron and then tap on the import order button tap ok the create import order button would be enabled then you need to tap on the create imported order button and the particular orders would be created in the Magento 2 store from the CS card store so here you can see a total number of 12 orders imported and 12 remain to be created in Magento there and lastly we have the export products to CS card uh, one more thing is there in the import products from CS card after you import the products from the CS card into your Magento 2 store you can assign any of the products uh, to the category as well so you can assign a particular category of the Magento 2 store to any of the imported products as per your own requirement as well then we have the export products to CS card so for example we have uh, uh, we'll go with for example we have the push it messenger bag now the depending upon the categories that we have mapped uh, between the CS card store and the Magento 2 store depending on that you'll be able to export the products to the CS card store and the products would be imported to the respective uh, mapped categories there so for example if I am uh, exporting the products to the CS card from the Magento 2 store like uh, I have uh, for example if I go to category mapping here you can see that the bags category of Magento is being uh, mapped with the cloths category and the CS card cloths category and the CS card right here so if I am having the product of the bag category then I can export that product into the cloths category very easily so to do so what I'll do is I'll just go to the export product CS card I'll choose the uh, product from the bags category like push it messenger bag I'll choose the export to CS card and I'll tap here in the submit button thereafter and you will see this uh, process of being executed uh, of exporting one product to CS card from the Magento 2 store and it will just take a few seconds there for the product to be exported to the CS card and you can see that total one product has been exported to the CS card store so we had uh, imported the product there let's uh, refresh the CS card here so we had imported just duffel bag so the just duffel bag has been imported as you can see here so from here we can view the quick view as well so for the just shuffle bag I had not uh, basically edit the image there so the image is that's why not uh, being displayed here but the product has been exported uh, to CS card from the Magento 2 store uh, within the particular cloths category as you can see here right within the cloths category we have the uh, just duffel bag as well here's the just duffel bag that we just uh, exported from the Magento 2 store into the CS card store there so these were the options that we get under the different uh, stores that we have mapped and that's how we can set the general configuration we can map the categories we can import the products from CS card into our Magento 2 store by running the cron first tapping on the import button and uh, here you can see the total number 21 products imported and total 4 remaining to be created in Magento so first you need to run the cron then tap on the import products then the create imported product uh, button would be uh, uh, enabled then you need to tap on the create imported product button and run the cron once again the same goes with the import orders from CS card you can import the products from CS card import the orders uh, from the CS card into your Magento 2 web store very easily so for that what you need to do is you need to run the cron import the orders create the imported orders and run the cron once again and for the export products to CS card you just need to select the products that you want to export from the uh, Magento 2 store into your CS card store and then from the actions drop down you have to choose export to CS card and then tap on the submit button and the particular product would be exported to the CS card from the Magento 2 store there 
so if you have uh, still if you have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding the magenta 2 cs card connector then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubidesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead